It could be weeks before we learn the final results of tonight's primary, but Kentucky election officers say they are already looking forward to November. We sent WCPO 9 News reporter Kristen Swilly to the Northern Kentucky Convention Center to bring you the latest on voter turnout and what this could mean for future elections in the Commonwealth. The Kenton County clerk tells me she and her staff have made provisions to keep both them and voters safe in this primary, but it's not a process she wants to repeat in the general election. Right now, I feel it's really important because of everything that's going on political wise. Driven by the desire for change in today's turbulent climate, Danae and James Nixon braved COVID-19 to cast their ballots in person. It's imperative that we get our voice out there. The couple lives in Independence and with their usual precinct closed, drove here to the Northern Kentucky Convention Center in Covington. It's a process they hope doesn't deter rural voters who prefer to vote in person now or in November. I'm hoping by then it's not going to be a big, a big issue. Despite the hurdles, Kenton County Clerk Gabrielle Summy says absentee voting has exceeded expectations. Based on what was sent out, I have about 138,000 voters. Uh, in paper alone, we're at 22%, which is way higher than we've really had in a long, long time. But she worries about the system's ability to handle the presidential election if COVID-19 restrictions remain in place. I really do not want that. Kentucky is not built really for mail-in. Uh, we don't have, use third-party vendors to produce or send our mail out. Uh, so it is a very labor intensive, a lot of time, a lot of overtime uh, for my staff. No matter the environment, come fall, the Nixons are prepared to make their votes count. Everybody seems to have an opinion right now. So. Everybody has an opinion <laughs> right now. Very, everybody's opinionated. So get out and put it where your mouth, yeah. put it the money where your All mouth right. is and, and get I'll out and vote. Definitely. All ballots postmarked by today will still be counted. Reported in Kenton County, Kristen Spilly, WCPO 9 News.